There's a new voice gaining international attention in the healthcare arena. At first glance, Dr. Zubin Damania may look like your average physician tending to patients and filling out charts. But in his spare time, this doc has swapped out his stethoscope for a mic and is taking medical issues to a new level. Demania transforms into Z Dog MD, a rapper using parodies and satire to outline lingering problems and popular misconceptions with the U.S. healthcare system. No appointment, I walk in to your clinic complaining of pain. Doctor shopping once again. So the next time you're feeling frustrated by your medical experience, you may want to check out Z Dog MD for a heavy dose of entertainment and laughter. Joining us, Z Dog MD himself, Dr. Zubin Demania. What up, fam? Welcome. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Dude, float up. <laughs> so, Z Dog, I'm just gonna use your your stage name right now. His videos are all over YouTube, but also amongst medical circles. So, I've watched you rap a few rhymes. And I, you've got some mad skills. Uh, you know, physicians have moderate to severe rhyming skills. Uh, <laughs> across the spectrum of care, we're able to drop dopish rhymes PRN. I'm curious what kind of, I don't want to say feedback, because that mm -hmm. may be a, but I'm assuming that you've had some maybe, maybe doctors or other healthcare providers that aren't giving you the, uh, the best reviews? Well, y'all understand why doctors are weird. It's because we're trained in this old Greek system where it's yes. about memorizing facts and then kissing the ring so that you can be the ring that's kissed when you're done. It's a very Greek hierarchical system. So imagine <laughs> I come out and I'm like, let's teach And we're supposed to be serious most of the time. All the right? time, yeah. yeah. So I come out and I say, you know what? They're teaching CPR now. They're saying get rid of mouth to mouth. It's about 100 beats per minute pushing on the chest. And I said, well, what's 100 beats per minute? I look through the catalog. <laughs> right? And you this, this may be a great addition to CPR classes. I think so. So what started the whole Z-Dog thing was I did a commencement speech in 1999. My class at UCSF was like, who's going to go off in the downtown San Francisco like nobody cares? Z-Dog. And I'm like, me. <laughs> and so we did this speech. I put it on YouTube, and it went kind of viral. And I realized, what if I actually made videos on purpose to educate, entertain, keep patients out of the hospital while raising the alarm that our system is way broken, and I'll create an alter ego so Stanford will never figure out. <laughs> and Looks nothing like me, that guy on the TV. I mean, <laughs> Who's that? I mean, right. You know, there's, it's funny because I think breaking down this barrier between patients and physicians, and I completely agree with you. We are trained in this system, and we're supposed to always present such a formality right. to patients, and I think it creates a disconnect. Our patients want to talk to us. They want to see us as real human beings. And I love, because, look, you're a well-trained, smart doctor who takes care of patients, but the fact that you do this, it makes you, to me, relatable. I love that you do this. And, and we know that, that laughter, smiling, all of these things have, have a big benefit to your health. Well, and, and, and I think music in particular gets stuck in your head. Music. So you're, you're yep. trying to remember the symptoms of a stroke, and you hear the weekend song, Can't Feel My Face. <laughs> and okay. you think, you think, I can't feel my face, my tongue won't move. Am I stroking? <laughs> yes, I'm stroking. And now, and now people will think. I'm sure the neurologists will love that one. They, they, yes, 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 my arm won't move. Yes, it's uh, complicated. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And even in your own practice as a physician, you're looking to flip the script, so to speak, with the way that medicine is practiced and the way patients receive care. Talk to us about that. That's exactly right. So when I started making the videos, it started, I started living my own story again instead of the story my dad wanted me to live to be a doctor or society wanted me to live in. And when you live your own story, weird possibilities open up. So this, pos this chance to go to Las Vegas and build a clinic that actually put into action some of the things I was ranting about in the, in the videos, this idea of health 3.0, going beyond that paternalistic doctor-patient relationship of the old days, 1.0, mm -hmm. through this 2.0 where everybody feels like a commodity. It's about electronic records and uh, numbers and transactions, and we're reduced to a transaction to 3.0, where we repersonalize it, where we really get to know each other, where providers also take care of each other because we're burning out left and right and commoditized in the system.